What's driving the turnaround here? Uh, exactly, yeah. They posted an awful quarter, um, a third quarter on Friday, um, and that saw the company suspend its dividend. That sent the share punch, uh, the share price plunging. We've got a chart which will show you that nice move that happened on Friday, and now it's going back up today. Uh, what happened today is there's been some renewed talk um, that those poor results now make Mattel a takeover uh, target. Garrick Johnson, an analyst at BMO Capital Markets, uh, said today that investors should start looking at Mattel from a sale of the company uh, perspective. He went on to say that uh, Mattel's assets could be worth much more in a sale or a breakup. I must say there are others who say Mattel isn't ripe for buying, but this is it was it was uh, Garrick Johnson, the analyst, who said that they are a possible target mm. that sent the sent the shares uh, go soaring today. And part of the issue, I guess, is their brands. Uh, they don't have uh, the Star Wars toys, right? They have Barbie. They have Hot Wheels, I believe. That's right. So they have a few brands that are less popular than they used yeah. to be. Certainly Barbie. Uh, last week we were discussing Barbie and talking about how um, she needs to be rehabilitated. Um, <laughs> uh, they're also producing too many products, uh, too many toys. That's another thing that this analyst, Garrick Johnson, mentioned today and the others have mentioned in the past. And they have too many toys and most of them are underperforming. And we saw that in the results. Both uh, We saw Barbie, Hot Wheels, Fisher Price and American Girl all dropped in terms of revenues. And it's worth pointing out that the other day, drop aside, this stock has just been terrible in recent years. Yeah. I mean, this was a stock that was near $50 a share. Now it's just under $16. So today's bounce and the other day's drop, and like in the drop of the bucket compared to the pessimism towards this company. Absolutely. And I wish I could uh, bring up a chart and it shows how badly their sales have been doing. Oh, I actually have it for you. It. It's G hashtag uh -huh. BTV851. And that shows that how the sales decline is not just from last quarter. Yeah. We've been seeing it for really many ugly. quarters before that. It fell. They fell 13% last quarter. Um, and, you know, what the CEO, Margot uh, Giorgiadis, is trying to do is turn the company around and she's always said 2017 would be that turnaround year but she's been hit by this perfect storm a she doesn't have the products uh, that people want to buy they also lost Disney pr Disney princesses and frozen yeah. and then of course we saw uh, Toys R Us uh, file for bankruptcy earlier in the year yeah. and that really really hit their sales